So we're back home now, and we got tuna and grouper. We're about to cook it up. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the bag. And I think we're gonna do the grouper first because it takes longer. And so tuna only takes about a minute to cook. So here's the grouper. We got a little grouper for this. Here's the tuna. And this is just mainly for me and Peter, so we didn't get that many. Just we're not cooking for a family. Uh, we're not going to waste them, but we're just kind of cleaning up the main filet just so it's easier and more smooth to cook. That's the skin side, and then that's like the side that's facing the main part of the fish. So we're going to leave right there, and then we're going to come over here, and we are going to get it. Um, we're not probably going to season out too much. Just because we're doing a sear instead of all the other stuff, we're gonna get a little bit of Lowry's and a little, little bit of Old Bay. And, you know, um, and this has a lot of salt and stuff, or just it seems salty, so you're not gonna want to put any more salt than, than just this. So And it's got a little spice to it, and so does the Old Bay. It is really my Perfect, own. just like that. And if and if it's if you kind of get it uneven, no problem. Just kind of spread it out a little and, bit. And, and I recommend with the Old Bay just to pinch it and then drizzle it. Because for some reason the old bay it either comes out in the whole bunch or it doesn't come out at all. So it's kind of like it is. Or another option is you could get a spoon and kind of dazzle it over if you'd like. Yeah. So now we're gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna go with the seasoning. Okay, see. We go with the seasoning a little bit. Just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the pan. And for this pan, it cooks really, really hot. So I am gonna turn it on medium to high. I would assume, like it's like a little bit over medium. I would assume that like normal ones, it would probably be like about in between them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like a little bit over medium. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have your flame piling over the pan. So you really just wanna concentrate it in the middle and maybe flaking out a little bit, but you don't want it coming up and over. And, like, gonna I, add. and when I say I don't agree with anything that Peter's saying, so take Peter's advice at will. I've done this before. I don't know about him. You just want to put this is olive oil, and this olive oil has a higher. It's, it's basically like butter, but it has a higher burning temperature, which means that if you put butter in there and you um, do the grouper for like five minutes on each side, it's gonna, the butter's gonna burn and it's gonna like make it, the uh, grouper look burnt, but this, it won't burn as easily. So you need to get to put it in there for longer. All right, so what we're gonna do now it's is not, as the right. oil's heating up. Yeah, yeah, let the oil and the pan heating up because you don't want it, you don't want it just put on there and let it steam underneath because it just doesn't really give it the right taste. You want it and it'll be like kind of like wet and soggy underneath. You wanna like just put it on there like sear and it'll go ahead and cook and it'll start cooking through. And so you probably, for this piece right here, it'll probably, if you see how it's thick, you probably just wanna put about, I don't know, like three to five minutes on each side. You just gotta see how and, it And you can see it, you can see it getting whitened. So you just wanna judge it by how white and then get about halfway and then flip it over and then let it go about the same minutes that you've been going for the You kinda time. just play it by ear, you don't really use a specific oh, time. Nice. Yeah. Right. Is, okay guys, so the oil's ready. We got our, okay. And one way you can tell it's ready, you get a little piece of water and flick it in there. Not so, much. Not that much at all. I put a little bit too much in this spool, whatever. You put it in there and we're like, brrr, go crazy. This has this is a little bit damp, so it should be about the same effect. But I'm just like, you just gotta be careful. So that right there, kind of loud, but that right there is perfect. And if it, if it seems like it's burning or going too quick, right. no, be scared. Of okay, so we just flipped this grouper. As you can see, it's kind of white about halfway through and it's kind of seared on top, which is just what you want. So I'm gonna wait until it gets white all the way through. And another trick is when you know it's flaky, this isn't ready, but when you, it'll be ready when it's kind of falling apart. When On both sides, you can push in and it'll fall apart easily. So it's not quite there yet, but it's definitely okay, guys. So, okay, guys, so we just took it off, and now on here, you see how this is a little bit burnt because it's been on there for so long. It takes a long time to cook this, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a paper towel, maybe hot, but if you take a lot of paper towels and just wipe it off. And wait a minute, too, just so it doesn't. And, burn. and, and wait a minute, put it in a fresh coat, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna get to the tuna. To so the tuna. you know this is ready, guys, because it's all white and there's no clear kind of gelatin, and it's like, and it kind of flakes, so it kind of falls apart easily. 
if it, if it is any clear, you need to put it back on. Cause that means it's not. Yeah, so we've redone this, and then we put the grouper. Put, yeah, put, put it like uh, low while, while we're just fixing it. But we, I, I wiped it off, put it more on. We got it in the heating drawer and while we're cooking. Well, the, well, we're going to go ahead and season up this tuna. So the tuna's really thick. So if you want to, you can put some seasoning on the sides too. But, I mean, you don't really need to. So we're, we're just using the same seasonings. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some sushi real quick. We're cutting just this little sliver. Well, the best part of it, you know, the bloodline. Okay, and just go ahead and sit, tell me how it tastes. That's not bad. The twin up, one fish you can really do this with. You don't want to eat too much of the sushi, as it can be bad for you. But, yeah. pretty good. Oh, it definitely is, yeah. That's really good. That's good. Hey guys, so we got the really seasoned up piece of goodness. We are gonna start right here and we're gonna pound it up a little bit. And then I'm also gonna show you how to do this. Here you go, a little bit of water, get a little bit. Honestly, you don't even need that much. And be very careful when you're doing this. Because yeah, oil and water do not mix well, so right it kind of explodes. So now we're gonna go. Tuna you cook for very short. So, so what we're doing is we're searing it. So we're leaving it on one side for 20 seconds, other side for 20 seconds. And as you can see, it's already creeping up. So with tuna, what you don't want to do is you don't want to cook it all the way through. As you can see, as you saw, we just ate it raw. So it's not like bad to eat it if it's not cooking all the way through. So it really does not matter. Once it gets maybe double that, we'll flip it. Now watch it. Uh, it's thick, but they don't, I don't see that. I mean, I might sear it on the sides too. This, this is yellow pintuna. You, you can also you can also pick thing. it up and like dab. It'll actually be thing, but you can flip the sides for like five yeah. seconds each too. Okay, so now we're going to pick it up. See that side. Okay, so we're going to pick it up. I mean, not long at all. See that? That might be a little much. You don't want to burn it, is the main thing. It doesn't matter how full it is. Okay. Now, here, I'm just going to pick it up and pull it like Yeah. Boom. Yep. And now, This is better than grouper because grouper you gotta make sure that it is cooked because it will be really fishy if it's not cooked. And this is very quick. It's also cheaper than grouper. If you wanna get yeah. Ten bucks a pound cheaper. At least where we get it. No problem. Let me get some. Bunch of soy sauce. Soy sauce and then what you wanna do is we're gonna we're gonna take this, we're gonna get it a knife. We're gonna cut it weird, I'm going to show you what it is actually like. It's really, really flaky. Oh, oh wait, oh, I don't care about this. Look at that. Go ahead and try that, y'all. I can't even get the privilege. I'm going to dip it in the soy sauce. Yeah, dip it in the soy sauce. I don't need a lot. I'm going to see a lot of it. Oh, my God. Hold on. It's some of the oh best. Oh, my God. It's some of the best. And it's super easy, super quick. That's really good. That's really, really good. That's better than restaurant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, restaurant. Have you ever heard of Lowry se seasoning? Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> you ever in a position? Remove a lot of this fish. Let none of it go to waste.
at all. Oh, Share it with your friends and family. This is yellowfin tuna. In my opinion, it's the best type of tuna. But blackfin and bluefin are both very good. We've also had bonita. This is very good, but it's the best tuna I've ever had. Oh, and watch out. We're going fishing tomorrow. We, might, we don't know what we're going to catch. But, bonita, possible but, blackfin. They but, are catching blackfin. But bonita, possible blackfin, possible cobia. That cobia is what we're mainly going for. We could catch blackfin or bonita. Um, they've also been catching snagging some Spanish and thick groups. So we're gonna have some of that later. Who knows? Who's gonna be the first to try some of that grouper? So this, the seasoning is usually enough. You don't really need sauce or anything. It's really different. It's very different from tuna. But it's very good. Yes, well, that, that one has it has different textures. They they both taste about the same, and they're just this one's way different texture, and this one's just flaky, meaty texture. Anyway, we're gonna finish off this, and we'll hopefully be out with a different another video. Soon. Thank you for watching. Thank like you. and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification. And group loop. Snowy group loop. I say my snowy group loop was way better. This one's pretty fire too. It's got it's got, it's got a lot of the bloodline off the um off the skin. And it cut it's maybe it flight off, excuse me. I'm sorry.